certainly help limit injuries down the road. But one thing that would be a game changer would be safer equipment. KCCI's Scott Reister says a couple of Central Iowans believe they've found a way to make a safer helmet. Over and over again, these Cyclone students are using science to develop what is known as the safe helmet. You get it turned on, pull the cord, and turn it off. And so right now what we got is a big jumble of numbers. Two Carroll residents started the project two years ago. Kim Baker is a sports reporter. Jerry Jansen is a former college coach. Both are passionate about the cause. A participation is going down. How ironic is that? I mean, that could be the demise of football in that someday, unless there's some way you come up with a solution to be able to protect the brain from concussions. We thought we can design a helmet that can minimize concussions and long-term brain injuries. So Jerry and I brought this to Iowa State because of being one of the top engineering schools in the United States, and they said, we love the idea. Last fall, their company partnered with the ISU School of Engineering's capstone program. That's where these guys come in. Analyze it and see the peak, mean, and average accelerations felt inside the head for all of the different helmets on the market today. By collecting droves of data on all the helmets out there, they have a better roadmap on how to continue development of their safe helmet prototype. This is what your head feels inside this helmet during a standard impact in football. As you see, we have a range. The lower you go on this end, the better the helmet performed in this test. The project just picked up even more speed. It was selected for the inaugural ISU Startup Factory, which means their partnership with Iowa State will expand and grow for another year. The goal is to have a viable product by the end of spring 2017. The current prototype is already testing better than the current manufactured helmets they have on hand. So what's going into their safe helmet? They can't go into great detail yet because of proprietary reasons. They can say... Some materials are soft, for example, that will get hard upon impact. Utilizing some type of a mechanical type of thing to help control the movement of the helmet. The way they're running these experiments here at Iowa State is nothing short of fascinating. They want the best safe helmet they can have. And if they design the right prototype, they know it will have a direct impact on the future of football. We will be providing an alternative for society to, to believe that they can feel comfortable in knowing that they're not going to potentially have a, a, a long-term brain injury because of a hit.